Welcome and thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to be talking about sustainable development in terms of the Module 6 Discussion Board. So the Module 6 Discussion Board focuses us on the ways that sustainable development connects to the three pillars of sustainability. There are many issues related to sustainable development. Some of the issues are quite global in nature and some of them are local all the way down to you know your local community level issues. So this discussion board gives us a great opportunity to learn from each other about issues that we're, we identify that are related to sustainable development. So in the picture here, you're seeing the first offshore wind farm constructed off the coast of the United States. It was constructed in 2016, and it's known as the Block Island Wind Farm. This wind farm generates enough power to provide electricity to Block Island, plus an additional 12,500 homes on mainland Rhode Island. If you're curious, you might want to look into the pros and cons of the wind farm as they relate to the three pillars of sustainability and to sustainable development. It's a really interesting case study. So my goal for this video is to share a few tips for this particular discussion board with you. Uh, we're going to go through the assignment as well as the grading rubric, and I might interject some comments here related to this particular case study so you can see how you apply those ideas. Okay, let's move forward. So in the discussion board, you are asked to share an analysis of an issue related to sustainable development. This is going to be an issue that you are going to select from the CQ researcher tool. And you've been doing those in the last couple of discussion boards where you've been going into that CQ researcher tool and identifying issues. And this is another opportunity for you to, to do just that, to pick an issue. Could be a global issue, could be something in your own local area, but you pick an issue that you would like to dig into a little bit more. So in your initial post, you're going to describe the issue for us, give us some background, take us into it, help us understand where the issue is positioned, and then you're going to consider how the environment is impacted and how it impacts the issue, especially in terms of equity. So as you dig into it a bit more, you're going to identify how sustainable development is affected by wealth and by poverty. A couple of good areas to think about when you're thinking about equity. As you draft your post, please remember to practice using key vocabulary terms that we've learned along the way. For example, can you add in terms such as consumption, welfare, and capital? Those are terms that we learned in the readings for module six. Also, uh, make sure that you're connecting examples of the issue or examples from the issue in your description. And the way I like to think about it is, I like to think about something that you uh, learn in uh, language arts, which is claim evidence reasoning. If you're making a statement, which would be a claim, if you're making a statement in your discussion board post, you want to have evidence that supports that statement, and you want to describe the evidence, describe the connection. So that's the reasoning part. So as you're writing those posts, think about, am I making a claim? Do I have evidence? And am I supporting that with reasoning? Okay, make sure that you're addressing each one of those prompts, obviously. All right, so in terms of your response posts, here you want to select uh, original posts that are different from the issues that your post focused on. And when you do that, you wanna think about a couple things. How does that issue connect to each of the three pillars of sustainability? This is a great opportunity to practice using vocabulary associated with the pillars of sustainability. I think this will help you get warmed up for writing your uh, draft. Also, I wonder if you can work in terms like resources, ecosystems, growth, curing capacity, and access, and then identify other aspects of inequities that you think are present in the issue. Tell us how further sustainable development might help advance the overall issue in, in a more equitable manner. All right, let's take a look at the grading rubric. So as always, I want you to be informed about how I'm going to to assess your work. Uh, we all have seen this rubric many times, but let's talk through it uh, specific to this particular assignment. So on the first row comprehension, what I'm looking for is I'm looking for your post to describe how placing equity at the center of the three pillars of sustainability can enhance sustainable development. 
in the context of the particular issue that you selected. So specifically, were you able to communicate your thoughts of how maybe wealth and poverty connect with the issue through the examples from the issue that you shared? So lots of opportunities to harvest examples uh, from that case study, as it were, that you're doing and add those to your uh, response post. And then of course, timeliness, did you make your initial post by the Thursday deadline? Engagement, in your response post, did you describe how further sustainable development would help address the issue? If things continue to develop, does it make it better, worse? What are the impacts? Who does it impact? And then do that in terms of sharing examples. And the final row, of course, is writing. Make sure that your posts are clear and concise and easy to understand. Did you take time to draft them in advance? Are you sharing references and citations with us as needed? And um, here's a point where I'm seeing a lot of improvement, thinking back to module one, all the way through today to this module six. And I'm really pleased with the progress that we're making in terms of those discussion board posts. So congratulations on that and thank you. All right, I think that kind of wraps it up for this one. Um, as always, if you have any questions, or you'd like some support on this, reach out to me. You can find me on that discussion board. You can find me on email, of course. Happy to work with you on it. Have a great rest of your day.